really sorry for the delay in getting across this video for you guys. The thing is that I was not keeping well uh, since last week and I thought that since I gave an additional bonus video last week, so it was alright to take it easy for a few days and take rest and focus on my health and getting back in shape and you know doing the normal things which I was not getting the time to do and just relaxing and rejuvenating kind of this was a post break uh, so it's okay I am still kind of weak but I'm getting better I think by tomorrow I should be right like really uh, fine and fit so uh, for today's video I thought that since I had made a video for uh, you know how to text your crush like what text you can send to your crush if you are a girl so today I thought let me make something for you guys uh, so the topic is five texts you can send to your crush if you are a guy so let's begin the video uh, text number one compliments yes most women love compliments uh, unless you know you are not trying to flatter her uh, unnecessary by bombarding her with messages about how hot her body is or just using words like sexy and bombshell and talking about her big booty uh, I don't know that I feel that you know girls who have no self-esteem issues the classy ones are not going to be impressed by those words I mean it's alright she knows that she's beautiful but if you actually compliment her personality and you actually notice the small things about her and compliment her via text um, I'm sure she's gonna be more impressed so don't send 10 texts just describing her beautiful body uh, but you know it's alright if you uh, talk about you know amazing dress she was wearing and she looked beautiful uh, I feel that most girls who are confident and who are really classy they are going to definitely appreciate you if you genuinely compliment her personality and notice the small things about her and then you can send them texts about it text number two you can actually find a common interest now this was also the same example I gave in that video which I had made for the girls you need to send quality texts and uh, try to find a common interest common grounds to uh, talk you know every time you text her so try to find what kind of uh, favorite music she liked uh, if she's a foodie any favorite music bands what's her favorite pastime any book if she's a you know if she likes to read then you can talk about the favorite books um, so try to find some kind of common interest so that you can text her often and you can share things about that via text text number three flirting and sexting yes we are not living in the old times those black and white times you know where girls were all coy and really um, they are not shy anymore and more and more women are um, open about a lot of things yes, most uh, women are not shy anymore and we are open about uh, expressing ourselves and more and more women are confident about their own sexuality and what things they want so if you guys want to flirt around via text you know it's okay it's happening it's already happening so I'm not talking some alien language and I'm not giving you some wrong advice um, 
Now what is also happening is I know that a lot of guys and girls out there who might be texting hundreds of people out there, you know, via Facebook, via WhatsApp, via SMS. So you are enjoying it kind of, you know, like you enjoy sending texts, you enjoy receiving texts, you enjoy the flirtations. You enjoy the attention from women or from men. So it's okay, go ahead and flirt. Go ahead and show that interest via text, via flirting, via texting. But I would say just be careful and don't really hurt someone's feelings because a lot of women overanalyze a lot of texts, you know. Uh, so be very careful that even if unintentionally you're hurting someone, please don't do that. So if, uh, if you want to show interest genuinely, then go ahead and uh, flirt or send it sext. Um, but there, is, there has to be a fine line between, you know, looking uh, too desperate and actually showing that you're interested in her. So make sure you don't come across as too desperate. Text number four. Now I, four. Now I am not a really big fan of texting. I believe that if two people want to get to know each other, you know, if you want to ask your crush out, then you should do it. I mean, uh, Go ahead and tell her that, you know, let's hang out someday. Please try and get her to come out and hang out with you, um, you know, in a coffee shop or ask her if she wants to go out for a movie or just for a stroll in the park or, you know, going to a beach or just hanging out at a shopping mall. Basically, get her out of the house or if you want to hang out at her place, Go ahead and ask her that. Uh, what I mean is that texting, 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 a lot of uh, miscommunication sometimes happens and you must be like texting hundreds of women. Uh, but ultimately, you have to meet and uh, get to know that special one. And uh, when you hang out, you notice a lot of uh, small things about her. So, you know, her expressions, the way she <laughs> pulls her hair up in a ponytail, <laughs> the way she smiles, the way she twitches her eyes, the way she blushes when you compliment her, the way she dresses up, the way she walks. So many things you notice only when you are meeting her in person those skype chats those whatsapp messages uh, those texts are not going to show that smile on her face so please ask her to hang out <laughs> you can do that via text but actually you need to meet up and you know get to know the person better text number five make her life easier. What I mean by this is, um, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of ego and uh, you like to feel, you know, like a man. So when a girl or, you know, your crush, she'll ask you to help her out with whatever it is, you actually feel good about that. It kind of massages your ego. <laughs> Um, you can try to make her life easier by, you know, helping her out with whatever she needs any help with, like fixing her bike or um, a simple thing like if you guys are in college, you know, you can, if you can help her to carry the books to the library. Um, if you have a bike, uh, you know, and you're in college or at work, you can ask her if she needs a lift. You know, you can drop her. You can drop her 
towards her home. So a lot of girls do like, you know, when a guy is showing that attention and he's trying to make her life easier. It just shows that he cares for her or he wants to get into your pants. Please be, uh, you know, I'm no one to tell you what to do in your life and I'm not going to be that moral police but uh, I just want you guys to go and have fun but kind of be a little responsible. I mean if you're in college and everything, yes, it's alright to be, to not be too serious and just enjoy life, hang out. Uh, but if you are a grown adult, please don't use texting uh, to just flirt and cheat on your spouse or to just get your self-esteem or your ego massage. Please don't do that. So that's it from me guys. I hope you liked the video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know whether these texts work for you and what else yes I'll try to make one more video this week I hope so I can manage that and that's it please uh, share with your friends and uh, subscribe if you haven't I need a lot of subscribers still and I want to say a big thank you to all the people who have uh, seen my videos and please continue to watch it <laughs> please share with your friends if uh, you really like them and let me know um, what kind of topics you want me to make videos on you can connect with me on uh, facebook twitter and, and my google profile so you know these are the only social media networks i'm using right now because uh, I don't know, clicking hundreds of selfies throughout the day and posting on Instagram is just not, it's not just my style. So I would rather do something meaningful and focus on my other careers. Uh, so that's it guys. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care.